it's Leah from Magnetic North Magnet Fishing and today I'm going to be doing an exploring mudlarking magnet fishing video and uh, today I'm in Chesterfield, Derbyshire so hello, good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone I hope you're doing well so this is the area I'm going to be having a look at um, it is quite a high drop down there but I can see there's debris in the water there's bits of metal over here and down here as well so I'm going to start a bit further down and then work it up this way and uh, see how we do so I am affiliated to Kratos Magnetics over in USA very good magnets very very strong magnets and highly recommended and if anybody wants a 12% discount code uh, I'll put that on the video as well so this pathway down here and the sides this is where all the litter was picked and uh, I'll be showing that in the video as well just how much was recovered it's uh, awful when you see so much broken glass bottles general debris and uh, there was even used and unused syringes so uh, I was glad that they was out of the area and uh, definitely a, a positive thing knowing that they're removed so just taking you down a little path and I um, want to show you something that I found yesterday which is an old railway viaduct fragment I say fragment because a lot of it was actually pulled down and this is all that actually survives so just there we've got a remains of a railway viaduct well, 1897 and uh, that's all that's left of the old Boythorpe railway and uh, it was part of the Lancashire Derbyshire East Coast line as well it connected to that and uh, that line was completely disused by 1952 so I will be searching this area as well So this is the river, as you can see this is the culverted section at the side um, as the original river is under those buildings over there. So I'm going to have a look around here, see what can be found and uh, we'll go from there. But that's the original viaduct part. So I'll try my best to show you what turns up as it's found but given the angle that I'm at that might be quite difficult. This might be a bit better angle. This is a term uh, known as magnet mudlarking once the rope's short just tied around the wrist and you just literally pick up uh, what you can see along the way so there isn't much light under here so I'll do my best and uh, it may be a case of coming and showing you the finds later on so just here we've got a small b 
bit of weir and this is right at the side of where the railway used to be so there could be anything in here I'll just carefully step down into it and yes straight away I can see there's quite a lot of things in here so yeah it's going to be rather interesting First item, big iron ring from a bit of drainage. There is some very interesting shaped bricks down here as well. And uh, various other things. So I've just got a big bit of bar as well. So what I'm going to do, um, just for safety, anything that's found is going to be put literally just onto the side um, and I'll be able to come back out of the water and recover this. So I'll just put it up there and then once I've got several items that can be bagged up, taken out and uh, gone to scrap. We've got another bar there. So the reason we put things on the side is uh, so we're not actually carrying it and that makes it a lot safer in case we slip or anything. And on this one, a couple of bits of magnetic rock on there and a iron loop just there. Now, normally on a site like this I'd actually have a waterproof dive bag with me and then I could put fine straight into that but I haven't got it with me today and on this one I just got just dropped something so on that one tiny bit of old pipe probably part of a bicycle frame big lump of metal cast just there this piece of iron round waste metal run off that magnetic rock and a, a piece of shaped metal no idea what it is so this little area here seems to have quite a lot of bits in it so I'll work this little area first before moving down there. And on that one, it's a bit of a bolt, magnetic rock, Lots of magnetic rock and sediment. Now it is going to heavily rain in a bit. So I might be better if I just stay around here. Keep it a bit safer for myself. And uh, then once it starts to rain, that's when I'll get onto dry land. Oh, just a bit of pipe on that one. Definitely trying to stick to stuff in here. 
also on this one got a iron pin large piece of magnetic rock a nail magnetic rock And on that one, a very, very corroded track railway bolt. Magnetic cast. And another piece of large furnace waste. So when you've got sites like this, you just never know exactly what's going to be here. Because this site has been abandoned certainly since the 1950s so there could be anything and on that one more magnetic um, waste and a nail so when it comes to railway sites always try to find out routes and railway lines uh, and that's where you'll find these hidden bridges, viaducts, things like that. But just another big piece of metal cast. And uh, because these sites often are not on maps, then uh, they do generally provide quite a bit of stuff. So you will always be back and forth. So magnetic rock on that one. And on that one, more magnetic rocks. Now it is rather slippery here, so I'm being very, very careful as well, not to actually fall over. I have not got the waterproof cover on my phone, so that is why as soon as it's raining, I will have to get out the water and uh, put the cover on and film from there. So, just a small triangular plate there. With a hole in, so that that's, would have been bolted. Just there we've got a steel roller. So that could have been for loading and unloading. So in the water, I have seen there's some old tools up here. So I'm going to carefully walk around to that area. And on that one, just a, a bucket rim fragment or bar. And a, a small bolt head. There is a lot of rocks in here, there is a lot of old brick. So uh, because it's shallow, you'd have very high risk of uh, chipping your magnet or getting stuck if you were to cast from the sides. Magnetic rocks again on that one. Bit of wire. So this bit of mitten now is actually quite deep so there's a little hollow here let's have a look so remains of a, a spade there And there's another one coming in as well. So I'll just get back to the shallower water. Show you exactly what I found. So that's the first shovel. 
just there. And uh, that's the remains of the second one. What's left of it. Quite it's out the water though. So I'm just going to try a bit further across. See what I can see as well. And uh, this is definitely a site that I think I will be coming back to when the water's definitely a tiny bit lower. Um, yeah, there just could well be some early history here, or at least something local railway related. I'll just add this nice padlock, master padlock there. That's cool. So this particular viaduct would have been rather busy with goods, trains, with coal and uh, it would have also had a slight passenger service as well uh, but that didn't last very long It's an interesting bit of stone there that's a railway track rest so that's interesting. So that will go back as well because I know there's a lot of people reuse those. So just testing the water, there's a lot deeper water on that side. So that will be when I've got full length waders and the water being lower. I do think there will be stuff down there. I'm just going to have a quick look, see what I can see. I can't see anything in the water. It's very, very murky. So that's definitely one for a torch in there. Just bits of rebar, bits of pipe. Well, that's interesting. So I've just had on that one, there's a motor there. So, yep, that's gonna go back as well. So if I follow the water on the shallow part, I can then if we get to the area where my stash of finds are and uh, I can then get back onto it so if you are magnet mud larking always ensure you keep an eye on the water levels watch your footings take things extremely slow and always let people know where you are as well um, just in case anything does happen or you fall over you may need help so again when you're at this level it's near impossible to see what's in the water once it gets silty so always allow a few moments for the water to disappear and then uh, the silt to move along and uh, you'll find bits there's definitely a lot of uh, carved stonework in here. That's all going to be Victorian engineering from the railway. And on this one we've just got 
a nice early truck bolt, a nail, and magnetic rocks. I can see there's quite a few bits in the water. So, just had this out. Not sure what it is, it's badly crowded. Could just be magnetic rock, but there could be something inside with how orange that is. I can see bits stuck in the water. And uh, I will have to get those. But I can't get them today with this particular magnet. I am feeling quite tired today. I don't know why. But yeah. Goes that way. Right, somewhat big here. Big lump of metal furnace cast and some magnetic rock. Just some more casts there. And down there, bit of an old bicycle pump. Curved bit of pipe. Large piece of bar. That's probably part of the original structure. It would have been bolted at one time as well. Keeping an eye on the water, I can still see it's at the exact same level. So uh, that's good. So we'll keep going on a bit further, do a bit more, get a bit more out. So when you are in the waters, always have a rule, never go past your knees. And uh, that way you can always get out the water if you need to. On that one, piece of old scaffold pipe. So on this one, just got an old padlock there. Nice. Do like finding those. So this is under the viaduct in the tunnel. There we go. It's a sight not many see. Definitely go explore this another day. So two trolleys recovered. All these bags that's going to be picked up by the council as well. There's a lot of way to pick in. And uh, sadly, there was 24 syringes recovered and uh, those have been put into a sharps box, taken away for proper disposal. Some use, some not. So look at that, nice and clean. Same here, nice and clean skate park nice and clean just how it should be proper use of the bins so it is getting a lot heavier rain the water's getting faster and higher I've made the right call to get out always think safety first and uh, if it is going to rain make sure that you are not in the water when it does because you can get rapid flash flooding so here we have a water recording station uh, and that can be found on riverlevels.uk uh, to monitor the water level during any particular season. Now it is advisable to check the water levels if you are searching in the waters and uh, always maintain a view of that site for safety. 
So a little history of the area I've just been in, the viaduct uh, that was used from 1890s and uh, finished in 1952 and uh, the, the line was the Lancashire, Derbyshire, East Coast Railway and uh, it used to go towards Lincoln and then on to the coast but it was never fully completed and uh, just across from where the viaduct was there was hold houses um, around about 1890, 95 and there was an old cattle market, cows, sheep, things like that and uh, people used to come down to the river to play and uh, children were always in there. So hope you've enjoyed the adventure. This is Lee from Magnetic North Magnet Fishing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like, subscribe and comment. So thanks again everyone. Bye for now.